Welcome to another Tuesday morning talk. And as you can see, I'm here live from Hollywood, California. And what do we know about Hollywood, California? We know that a lot of thousands of people come here every year going after their dreams. And we also know thousands of people go back home because they're broken and they can't see it all the way through. So, again, we talk about managing a little bit of risk and what type of mindset you need to have to manage that risk. And one thing that we do know, big risk, big reward. Simple as that, right? If you're not willing to take the big risk, then you're not gonna get that monumental reward, right? So, going into these risks, I think it's important for you to actually realize what it is that you want and it needs to be defined clearly for you because you're gonna get a constant influx of people pushing what they want. And you also get, get people who are, uh, need I say, envious or jealous of the fact that you're willing to go after your dreams. Everyone's not gonna be willing to go after their dreams and they definitely don't wanna see other people going after their dreams because you know what, it makes them look at themselves, right? It makes them look at themselves. I don't know how long I sat down in the hood and talked to people about starting businesses and doing things and we had money to do it. Nobody wanted to do it. Nobody wanted to do it. Everybody was complaining. Ah, oh, white man this, white man that. Like, man, we have plenty of money to go do that, all type of stuff. And they didn't want to go do it, right? So that, again, was us dealing with the unknown, us dealing with the things that we were afraid of, right? Getting outside of our comfort zone. People didn't want to do it. Right? So one day I had decided to go down this path by myself. And I'm going to tell you, the people who were closest to me, they did not support me. I mean, I hate to say it. The people that were closest to me, they did not support my entrepreneurial endeavors. Right? Now they do. But at the beginning, they didn't. Right? And I'm going to tell you, it shook me. Right? It shook me down to my core. Right? Almost to a point where I just shut everybody off for a moment. Right? Because I had to to keep myself solid, right? So, I mean, if you go into these things and you understand what it is that you want, you define what success is for you, which this is what you have to do because success is different for all individuals, right? Case in point, some people consider me wildly successful because, you know, I've been a personal trainer and I've been doing, you know, over six figures every year for like 20 years. That adds up to some millions of dollars, you know? And some people don't consider me successful because I run in a circle of people who have a lot of money, right? So, but at the end of the day, success for me was being able to take care of myself without having somebody else be in charge of me. That's what success was for me. I couldn't get up every day and have somebody that didn't culturally respect me, um, who wanted me to change everything about my being to fit in to their world. I didn't want to do that. When I seen that I didn't have to do it, I chased after that, right? So it left me with a lot less money because the main focal point wasn't just the money. But the freedom that I got from that, I'm pretty sure that's the reason why I don't look like I'm fucking 50 damn years old right now because I'm pretty sure I'll be 10 years older right now biologically if I would've did the other thing, right? So this was very important for me, but I'm letting you know right now, the money is at the top of the list right now. I put the money higher on the list right now because I'm getting older and I need that cheddar, baby. Anyway, but I'm just, I'm just trying to make this point that if you don't even know what that is, any information that comes in that doesn't go along with your task is gonna knock you off your point. It's very easy, you know, to get your emotions all mixed up and to get all screwed up, you know? Man, stay on point. Keep your eye on the prize. You got to keep your eye on the prize. For all the people who came to Hollywood and didn't make it, hey, I sent a prayer to you. Yeah, but this young fella right here, I'm going to make it because I'm going to keep my eye on the prize. And I'm going to make sure that I monitor the information coming in to this vessel so the output is optimal. Right? Until next week, I'm going to talk to you guys later.